What's going on guys? In this one, we're looking at how to fly your drone in Chicago. Hang around, hit that subscribe button, and we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. Art here off the Dome Media Group. The Chicago UAS or drone ordinance has many pilots scratching their heads as to how and where they can and can't fly their drones. While at the same time, many pilots don't even know that the drone ordinance even exists. The Chicago ordinance appears pretty restrictive at first glance. However, many of the rules mirror the FAA part 107 rules. I talked about this in a previous video on local ordinances. I put a card up here so you can check it out. One thing that I want to mention up front that is much easier to fly in Chicago as a commercial UAS operator than a recreational pilot. I'll explain why at the end of this video. For the sake of time, I'm gonna hit the major points in each section of the ordinance. This will answer the question of how to fly your drone in Chicago. I also put a link to the Chicago ordinance below so you can download the PDF and read it later. Let's get into it. First, you must register. Simply put, it's illegal to fly a drone or UAS in Chicago if it is not registered. The required registration info is name, address, and phone number of the UAS owner, make, model, and serial number of the UAS or the drone, as well as proof of insurance. The cost of registration is $50 and it will be valid for one year. The renewal fee is also $50 for each year thereafter. Also, you must have insurance. $100,000 for personal injury or death for one person, $300,000 for personal injury or death of more than one person in one accident, with a maximum of $100,000 for each person, and $50,000 for property damage. You must also have an identification tag. Within 15 days, you will be issued a registration tag that you must firmly affix to your UAS or your drone. No surveillance unless permitted by law, no flying within five miles of an airport, no firearms or weapons can be equipped to the UAS or the drone. You cannot operate within one quarter mile of any open air assembly unit. That would be sporting events, Soldiers Field, Comiskey Park, Wrigley, so forth. Also schools, hospitals, and places of worship. You can't fly above 400 feet or beyond the line of sight of the operator. Or under the influence of alcohol or drugs, or whenever the weather conditions would impair you to do so safely. You can't fly between the hours of 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. It also says notwithstanding the prohibitions set forth in this section, a person may operate a small unmanned aircraft in any location designated for such operation by the general superintendent and chief executive officer of the Chicago Park District. After numerous calls to the Chicago Park District, I've yet to find out where these designated areas are located within the Chicago Park District. Now, the penalty for violating the ordinance can be not less than $500, nor more than $5,000 for each offense, or may be incarcerated for a term not to exceed 180 days. That's six months, or both fined and incarcerated. Now, there's another section on seizure and unlawful use, but you can download that and read it later. So, my friends, this is the answer to how to fly your drone in Chicago. Legally, that is. Let me wrap this up with how it's easier to fly as a commercial UAS operator versus a recreational operator in Chicago. One of the sections states this. Again, notwithstanding the prohibition set forth in this section, any person authorized to operate an unmanned aircraft pursuant to a waiver, certificate of authorization, or airworthy certification under section 44704 of Title 49 United States Code shall be authorized to operate a small unmanned aircraft in city airspace in accordance with the terms of such certificate of waiver, certificate of authorization, or airworthy certification. In plain English, that means if you have your FAA Part 107 remote pilot certificate, you fly under Part 107 rules, not the Chicago ordinance. So with that, if you thought about getting your Part 107 license, check out remotepilot101.com Link is in the description below. With over 14,000 tests passed, including mine, you can't go wrong. Well, that's my rant for the day. I hope I didn't bore you to death and it helped you out just a little bit. As always, like, comment, follow, and share. And more importantly, fly safe. Peace.